In recent times, the U.S. Navy has become quite interested in shrimp under the sea. Some shrimp make the sound of cut cut underwater. At one time, seafarers thought that the sound might have been made by waves, or the sound of an underwater volcano, or the sound of pebbles moving in the water. However, during World War II, when the U.S. Navy was in search of a German submarine with a gold instrument, it was caught in the middle of a storm of noise. Researchers from the University of California's Division of War Research were able to trace the origin of the term to shrimp, according to a report by the AIDS Hole Oceanographic Institution. As a result of this study, naval gold operators were trained to understand which word is shrimp. One sound of a shrimp can be up to about 220 decibels, which is more than the sound of a gunshot. An article in Sandbox, a U.S. military magazine, states that a U.S. Department of Defense project has reached its second phase in 2020, through which they are starting to develop some senses. These senses will record and analyze the noise made by the shrimp. If the analysis reveals that there is a submarine near the shrimp, the warning will automatically reach the coast or the ship. Scientific magazine Scientific American is explaining the special features of shrimp. There is a type of small sea shrimp called snapping shrimp or pistol shrimp, which has a handful of very large size, about half of their own bodies. When these claws close, there is a loud noise. In some places in the sea these shrimps make their large colony. In those colonies, the shrimps often make claws together. If someone uses a gold instrument under the sea at such a time, he will not hear anything except the sound of shrimp and all his work will be disrupted. During World War II, Allied ships had to rush to find German submarines due to the loud noise of shrimp colonies at the bottom of the Atlantic. However, in a September 2000 article in Science magazine, Barbara Schmitz, a researcher in the Department of Zoology at the Technical University of Munich, Germany, gave a scientific explanation of how these shrimps make words. When the shrimp's claws are closed, Bubbles come out with a jet of water coming out of it very fast and making noise. Using the speed of this water jet, the shrimp kills its prey. The whole thing works like shooting underwater. At the same time, scientists are explaining the reasons for this strange action of shrimp. Shrimp basically communicate with each other through these words. At the same time. They try to defend their territory by intimidating any attacking animal. This activity of shrimp has attracted the researchers of the U.S. Navy. A study published last year by the Center for Climate Security said that a study published at the Ocean Science Meeting in 2020 found that as seawater temperatures rise, so do the sounds of these shrimps. This will make it as difficult for fishing vessels to use gold as it is for the U.S. Navy to search for submarines and submarines. Gold instruments can be used to create three-dimensional reflections of the surface underwater. Again anything running underwater can be found, such as fish or submarine or mine or any other object. Active gold is a sound wave that throws waves underwater which is reflected from something and comes back again. By hearing this return sound, the distance of any object underwater can be measured from the measurement of the wave. Another type of gold is passive gold, which does not make sound but rather hears sound to get ears. The instrument tries to understand by listening to and analyzing any sound made underwater and how far or deep it is. The importance of gold instruments has become immense since the use of submarines in naval warfare. Because if a submarine dives underwater, it can no longer be seen from the surface of the water and it is very difficult to find it without a gold instrument. Searches at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA.
believed that the sound of these shrimps could lead to the discovery of unmanned drone submarines of the enemy navy under the sea. According to a report in Discover magazine, it is difficult to find such drones that are almost silent. Recently, the United States, Russia and China have all been developing drone submarines, some of which are capable of carrying nuclear warheads. The number of Russian submarines in the Atlantic has also increased. In 2016, Russian naval officer Sergei Starshinov claimed that their submarine had swerved too close to a naval base on the east coast of the United States, but no one found them. The U.S. Department of Defense has launched a project called Persistent Aquatic Living Senses or PALS. In this project, researchers are trying to understand how the fauna sees a man-made object like a drone submarine under the sea. Whether they make a special sound, or make the light shine, or move differently. Alison Lafarge, a researcher for the U.S. defense company Raytheon, who worked on the project, said that if you listen to these shrimps closely, you can hear about 190 decibels. But you don't have to supply any electricity to produce these words. Shrimp are also found in most reef areas. Noise can be recorded only by placing hydrophones in some important places. Lafarge says they are researching the biological soundscape of the ocean floor. They see what the sound is like in ordinary times, and what kind of sound is there when a submarine moves underwater. Laurie Adornato, PAL's project manager, says it would be prudent to use marine life. Due to this it will be possible to run underwater surveillance all the time without any cost and without any logistical problem. DARPA says that in addition to the Raytheon Company, another group under the Northrop Grumman Company is working to create a three-dimensional image using the word shrimp. Another third group is using a biological sensor called the Goliath Grouper at Florida Atlantic University. Sandbox reports that Russian and Chinese submarines are being built much quieter in recent times and it has become very difficult to find these submarines in the ocean. A few days ago, the Pentagon released a map. There, it is shown that Russian and Chinese warships are more frequent near the lines of fiber-optic cables that run under the sea. Vice Admiral Andrew Audi Lewis, commander of the U.S. Navy's Second Fleet, says the new reality is that their sailors will now be able to operate in competitive areas as soon as they leave the U.S. coast. U.S. ships will no longer be able to safely navigate the east coast of the United States or cross the Atlantic easily. In August 2016, the U.S. Navy launched its second fleet on the east coast of the United States and in the North Atlantic Ocean to prevent the annexation of Russian submarines. The Navy's operations were suspended in 2011 to reduce the Russian threat. But in recent times, Russia's great power competition with the United States has intensified. And the Atlantic is heating up again. This, of course, is the result of U.S. policy. The United States has cut off strategic talks with Russia, citing China as its main geopolitical rival. And since the occupation of Crimea in 2014, the United States has imposed economic sanctions on Russia. Russia, weakened by these factors, is desperate to force the United States to negotiate. Russian intercontinental ballistic missiles can now be repulsed by the U.S. missile defense system. So Russia has focused on developing new weapons to further its submarine technology, which would be able to pose a renewed threat to the United States by bypassing current U.S. technology. It is now the responsibility of U.S military officials to deal with the new generation of silent Russian submarines. Last September, the U.S. Navy announced the launch of a task force to search for a Russian submarine called the Task Group Greyhound. 
In this same vein, U.S. Navy researchers are now hearing the cot-cot sound of shrimp peeking under the sea.